Hello friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we are going to say about extra chromosomal genetic elements. We know that DNA is the bacterial genetic material. The DNA of most bacteria is contained in a single circular molecule called the bacterial chromosome. Bacterial chromosomes are located in a region called nucleoid. In addition to chromosomal DNA, most bacteria possess extra chromosomal genetic elements known as plasmids and transposable elements. Extra chromosomal genetic elements are not essential for the normal life of the host bacterium but provide survival advantages under certain environmental conditions. Plasmids Plasmids are small, supercoiled, double-stranded, non-chromosomal circular molecules present in the cytoplasm of bacteria. Plasmids replicate independently of the host chromosome. You should note one important point here that is some plasmids have linear DNA. Linear bacterial plasmids have been identified in several species of spirochete bacteria. Plasmids code for synthesis of a few proteins not coded for by the bacterial chromosome. Plasmid copy number. The plasmid copy number is the number of copies of a given plasmid in a cell. Plasmids may be either low, medium or high copy number plasmids. The number of copies of a plasmid per cell ranges from 1 to 2 to 10 to 100. Many classes of plasmids are capable of transfer from one cell to another. Episode Some plasmids can be integrated into the host chromosome and replicate with it. Such plasmids are known as episodes. You should remember one thing that is, plasmids are not essential for the survival of bacteria but permit their bacterial hosts to survive better in an adverse environment or to compete better with other microorganisms occupying the same ecological niche. Plasmids are extremely valuable tools in the fields of molecular biology and genetic engineering. Plasmids play an important role in gene cloning, recombinant protein production and gene therapy research. Up to this we learned what is plasmid and its importance. Next, we are going to see about transposable genetic elements. Transposable genetic elements. Another class of extra chromosomal DNA are transposable genetic elements. Characterized by their ability to move from side to side on the same or different DNA molecules. That is, they may jump from chromosomal DNA to plasmid DNA. Because of this free mobility, it is also known as jumping genes. Unlike plasmids, transposable elements do not contain information for self-replication and have to depend on chromosomal or plasmid DNA for replication. Besides introducing new information, Transposable elements may also disturb the sequence of chromosomal DNA, causing deletion, duplication, inversion and other alterations. Transposable elements can also serve as switches, turning genes on and off. Under transposable genetic elements, we are going to say about insertion sequences and transposons. Insertion sequences Insertion sequences are small DNA pieces consisting of a central coding sequences and flanking short inverted repeat sequences at either end. Insertion sequence elements are found in various regions of the chromosome, in plasmids and in some phages. They have also been found at different sites within a single gene. Transposons Transposons are larger DNA pieces carrying a variety of genes with long repeat sequences at either end. Transposons 
encode enzymes that transpose the transposon that is move the transposons from one dna location to another either on the same molecule of dna or on a different molecule transposons may be found as part of a bacterial chromosome or in plasmid a transposon contains a number of genes coding for antibiotic resistance or other characteristics flanked at both ends by insertion sequences coding for an enzyme called transposase which catalyzes the cutting and resealing of the dna during transposition so it can cut themselves out of a bacterial chromosome or a plasmid and insert themselves into another site of a chromosome or a plasmid plasmids and transposable elements are two types of mobile genetic elements involved in the transfer of genetic materials i am concluding this video here and see you soon in my next video thank you friends